My bad. But like, I'm sorry, y'all. Look, um, it took me so long, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been moving with the new uh, Savage Life movement, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just trying to get things together right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if my other fans out there know, you know what I'm saying, worldwide. But <clears throat> if y'all do know, you know what I'm saying? I'm the newest member of the Savage Life team, you know what I'm saying? So, we're making big moves right now. Shout out to Derek. Shout out to Webber. Shout out to Blue, you know what I'm saying? To everybody who's making something possible, you know what I'm saying? Making something work, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Let's make it happen. Like, shout out to y'all, you hear me? So how did you become a member of Savage? Like, what, what, what I mean, just do? grinding, you know what I'm saying? Grinding the potential, you know what I'm saying? And believing myself and... I reached out and they reached back and you know what I'm saying we had a good we had a good bond and when we bonded stuff like that because me and Weber had met on a few occasions already and it was already family you know what I'm saying and when I dropped my song deep in the heavy and I shout out to Weber you know what I'm saying shout out to my nigga Weber no not to I mean I mean shout out to my homeboy I'm sorry for that you know what I'm saying shout out to my homeboy Weber you know what I'm saying and I got touched and I got in touch with Derek you know what I'm saying and we made it work from there. And now, you know what I'm saying, I'm a member of the Savage Life, you know what I'm saying, and we just making it work. Like, everything's been good, the fans have been loving the music, you know, new music. Go get the new album out right now, King of Worth Reality, you know what I'm saying. Right now, it's on Reverb Nation, and you can go get it on superunit.com. Right. Go get that. That's what I'm talking about. So, for the last time you came here tonight, we feel like your work ethic changed, and like, oh, like yeah. you get a little, I get a little Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of oh yeah, yeah, a lot of more positivity, you know what I'm saying? And when I came here in my last interview here, they helped me reach out to people who I wasn't reaching to before, like people on my college campuses and people who never noticed me or never heard of me before. So coming to different radio stations and coming, you know, mixing major with different people do help my brand and do help my support from everybody from around the table. So when I came in last time, I might have had a thousand. But now I got 2000 because my last class was here, so a lot of things can help me from this radio station right here. Oh, I'm man, that's what's that. up. That sounds good. That makes me feel good. You know, that really makes me feel good. Oh, yeah. And, and, then you got a, and then you got a major grind, too. You know what I'm saying? You interact with a lot of people that's major, so that helped me and it helped a lot, a lot of artists get a big name themselves if they don't know. If the if radio station host is communicating with bigger artists, I mean, when you come, you're going to be one of those artists with a name, too, so you got to make it known. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, how important do you think the footwork is to really get out there and grind and not just get back behind the uh the computer doing work, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. The footwork, you know what I'm saying? Your footwork has to be amazing, you know what I'm saying? And nowadays, you know, they're making it easy to where your footwork it has to be something but not not even making digital so where your footwork can be made to be promotion out of the awesome. Right. So you could do a lot of footwork, but if your promotion not awesome, you know what I'm saying? You're not really making no Craig Boy, you're not really making the noise of what I used to do. Thank you. Craig Boy, I know you listening to the radio, baby. Show me some love. I see you on now. Thank you. That's another little positive. The man said that I also made him wake up to the real because, you know, I, I mean, I guess people don't feel like that they have an opportunity to be heard on the radio. I'm not saying radio plays everything, but, I mean, that's just one right. of the outlets that people look forward to doing, you know, and it's right. not like a... But easy thing to do, and I'm making it easy. These college radio is getting just as much airplay, and we touch just as much airwaves as these big timers out here. Oh yeah. So um, what what you got going on? What's up? What's your next project? I mean, I, I got um, uh, from when I leave here, I got another radio interview tonight for ten for uh ten to eleven on um, Black Eye Radio Station. I got a radio interview. Shout out to my people in Detroit. Right. You know, what I'm saying Detroit, Michigan. You know, shout out to my fans out there. I got my next show coming up May 10th. And got my next show coming up after that May 25th. And my other show I got coming up May 7th. I'm sorry, shout out to the weather. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the team for the album. You know what I'm saying? We got the Breakfast Book Blue coming up too. So y'all going to look out that out. You know what I'm saying? Be real. It's a seminar for people, who, real artists who are really trying to grind and really trying to promote their music. You know, y'all need to come on now. And where's this located at? Well, this Breakfast Book Blue is going to be located in, I think, up in Lafayette. I think. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't want to lie. You know, I have to look at the flyer again, but I think. That's what's up. Y'all need to pay attention out here. They look for, some people be like, they don't know the business. They, you know, they don't know what they need to know, but you're not really doing the research because if you just type in that thought that runs across your mind in Google, you might can find Alrighty. somewhere. There's a lot of things going on in New Orleans. It's really out here teaching music business and everything. Alrighty, I found right. out myself that, you know, there's a lot. So, I mean, they tend to hate on the city, but the whole point is on the person. The person 
don't get out and go to go grind their stuff and find what they need. I mean, that's what it takes. You really got to go find what you need. Oh, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of us get the game wrong at because nobody not going to do nothing for you. And even being signed to the label, they still not going to get out there and do what you want them to do. You know what I'm right. saying? You still got to get out there and put out your own footwork and put out your own grind and promotion. You know, a lot of come out, a lot come out artists and talking when they get signed, they don't know. But it's up to you to make a decision on what you want to do with whatever you have. You know what I'm saying? And we can just go from there, you know? I'm doing open features right now. For all the artists, I'm doing open features. I never did this before. But when you open another lane, open something new, sometimes you got to try something new. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing open features right now for all artists who want to get in contact with Young King and who want to do a feature and like my music. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing remixes and everything. And no telling where you might be at from there. So you, do you have a song with Webby or Boosie? Yeah, I got I got a song <clears throat> with Boosie. Like I said, I had a song with Boosie. I, I never released it yet, only because I never got the proper rights to. I never got the proper rights for it. But right now, I don't have a song with nobody else on the team right now. But those those, those songs are coming right now. You know, so those are coming. And like I said, when I dropped the album, I just was you know really promoting myself and like really trying to let fans know that. <clears throat> I still do have it, and I still can put out some with 15 tracks on this quality music, you know? Right, right. I mean, numbers do matter, and when you get to the big system, when you can get to the big league, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Ball Team, I just saw them shut down with Sony, you know what I'm saying, shout out to the team, you know, Cloud Gang in the building, Young Guap, you know what I'm saying, that's what we started off with, you know what I'm saying, that's the team, but, you know, when you sit down with the, you know, when you sit down with the big people, you know what I'm saying, and you put numbers on top of, with, on top of street movement, it don't really work like that, you know what I'm saying, because these people want to see progress, they want to see numbers, they want to see marketing, you know what I'm saying? They want to invest into they, they want to invest into some good. They don't want the you know you just sitting back and waiting on them. So a lot of artists who think they internet, I think they got numbers on internet. Sometimes that don't matter right. when you go sit down with the big man because your numbers on internet might not be able to show. Some artists is getting maybe four thousand, five thousand likes or five thousand views, but when they got a show, they only got ten fans. Right, right. Maybe five. And that's their own people. Right. So who is them other people? Like, you know, people like, you know, getting these fake things or try to get more likes, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, that's not what it is. You got to get out there and promote and grind and your real friends, you're going to know who they are because you're going to see them every time at all your shows. So what other spots can you perform other than New Orleans? Oh, I done perform in Detroit. I done perform in Atlanta. I done perform. I done went to Texas. Uh, I'm working on going to Miami. I'm working on going to Atlanta. I ain't been to Atlanta. You know, I, I don't know how, but, yeah, I ain't been to Atlanta. But I went out there with Detroit that people didn't know, you know, when I was, you know, messing with uh, Rick Ross. You know, I was out with MMG for a little while, you know, in Detroit, you know what I'm saying, and doing my little thing out there. So, it was kind of love, you know what I'm saying? So, I show people that you know got to have a budget, and it don't matter where you want to go perform, but, you know, if you want to make it happen, you could. And if you want to go come back to your city and make things happen too, you could, and, it just be a lot more than what people think it'd be. That's what I'm talking about. Do you do you find that um the crowds um is harder down here than any other crowd? Yeah, because a lot of people look to support their own unless if they don't like the music, they're not gonna come to your show. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel as though that you don't have a name for yourself, that who is you? So why should I have to come to your mu the music show? I mean, why do I have to come to your showcase? So I mean sometimes it do depends on you're a fan base, and that's why I call it a street team. Right. You know, so like a lot of, you know, once you get the game together, and once you get the street team together, and have your promotion right, I mean, fans are going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And you always got to give back to the fans, man. If you have a show, give them a couple of shirts, man. Give them some t-shirts. Right. Give them something to where they can remember you, so next time they come to your show, they know that they're going to get a prize. You know right. what I'm saying? And that'll keep your fans, exactly. you know, that'll keep your fans knowing that, you know, your show going to be something nice, and when you get on stage, just go to Hardy's. That's what I'm talking about. 
I'm talking about Young King in the building. So Young King, tell us about this album. What inspired this album? Oh man, it came from the ground. It came from the ground on up, you know what I'm saying? It came basically from the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I know I've been on here once before. I know y'all heard y'all done heard some a couple of songs, but it's always good to do a, a, a another review of the quick debut of the album. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, a lot a lot of people don't understand, a lot of people might don't know where the album comes from and the album really comes from the streets, you know what I'm saying? It comes right. from the heart, it comes from what people are going through, it comes right. from what pain, you know what I'm saying? And the first song on there is King of Worst Reality and a lot of people be mad at you, you know, a lot of people thought that you wouldn't make it, I thought you were gonna be nothing, but when I grabbed and got awards, a lot of people was like, Well, okay, he got awards, this was it. <laughs> right. Get another one. Mad, like, right. you know what I'm saying? I get another one. Yeah. And I did. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say that my song so hard. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I grind and got awards, you know what I'm saying? I made it on TV, even grind and got awards. A lot of people wasn't feeling me, I was still being ignored. And that's how it be, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't know, acknowledge you until they really see you on BNC awards. That's the way of being, okay, yeah, he made it. But in other awards, they don't, they don't consider it that, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it be. And, and I got three of them, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, People acknowledge them, but some people really still look at you like, okay, you got awards, now, now what? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, where's the platinum album at? Or where's the, you know what I'm saying? Like some say, where's the big calls or the fancy things that y'all don't see? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what it is. I'm just happy you didn't, oh, because it's been like a year since you came here. Right. Since we did this. And you came back with the same album, trying to push the same album. So I'm just happy you didn't come back saying, yeah, and then I dropped on five mixtapes and two more albums. Oh, no. You no, feel no. what I'm saying? You know, that's so how important nah. you, you, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, give yeah, it to I, you I, for you to push that project that you're working on and not. Keep oh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, that's what they call believing in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Partners in Crime, because, you know, I had a good sit down with them, and, you know, can't know, you know what I'm saying, to him, can't go yeah, swim, he was yeah. like, well, you know, he had, they had, when they dropped their album, you know what I'm saying, they did it over five years and pushed it, so, I mean, that goes to show you that, you know, when you drop an album or a project that you created, you know what I'm saying, and that you really have love for, that you really didn't build the buzz for, you're not going to really try to jump to the next, you know, subject because if that album really buzzing, like the you got it buzzing, mm -hmm. you're going to make sure that you keep pushing that and nothing else, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, as you see, when I do post my album, I do say shout out to Booster to the uh, Boot Park album, 